Hey guys, it's Wilderness Boy again. Um, honor trapping video of 2018, kind of, we're coming up to 2019. We caught these two nice rats here this morning in a trail set and with 110 caught a bear. So, um, I already skinned one. This is how it looks, but I decided I wanted to do a video. So, it's kind of how to, and I'm going to give you guys a tip on how to dry off your muskrats. Now, if you have good snow around, um, just roll them in that. But another thing is sawdust. Sawdust works great for drying things off, as well as flushing. I, I use my sawdust to flush. I even put it on beavers. It's probably not necessary. So, guys, you just rub the sawdust on there, and um, that'll dry it off pretty good. Well, um, yeah, so, um, I usually do that to each muskrat I skin before I skin it. Then you can just brush it off like that. Muskrats are a very simple thing to catch. You just have to find their um, runs. So, um, yeah. Okay, guys. Okay, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna show you how to do this. Right here, you start at the heel. Go up to the tail, start at the heel, go up to the tail. It's a very simple type of skin. Just follow the fur line. Go in right there. Follow it up to the tail. Muskrats are way easier to skin than mink way easier. Mink have like really tight stretched skin. Okay, there we go. Do the other side. You can, guys can go up the tail a little ways. Then you you have that nice um you don't have to poke a hole in the hide to get your stretcher tacks wire wire stretchers work good uh, I like wooden ones better but um, they work fine so then what we're gonna do next guys is we're gonna take um we're gonna come around here and we're gonna actually um when we come up we're gonna put our hand through the um, up the skin of the back to work our way up and then you pull the hide out and then you work the way around the belly just find my other cut it's right there okay guys then we just um this is the back right here when you're coming up the from the tail is the main part you have to use a knife for along with the head and stuff and a bit more of the belly and stuff um, And yeah, guys, we're just working our way up here. I like to get around the legs before I um, start using my hand. I'm gonna use my other knife here for the feet. You can hang them up if you want, whatever you guys want to do with them. Then we're just going to work our hands up here. It 
It's very simple. Show you guys what I mean. How we're gonna flip it in a second. This part takes a little bit longer because you have to get all the sinew and stuff out of the way. I'm gonna get the legs out first. Just, just skin out the legs here because then. And it'll be easier to um, get the hide out. Muskrats have really great fur, guys. You can basically just peel it off. Let's see, get the main part of it. I'm gonna have to cut right there because I don't want meat coming off with it. Okay, back to this part. This is a big rat, guys. Okay, then. You just kind of flip it, guys, out through. Like so, just flip the rat out. Then you just kind of, okay guys, um, so you, you just kind of peel along the belly here. Get some legs right there. It's fine. Intestines will open, but you just try to not do that. Okay, then you just do the belly here. Okay, guys. This is the, oops, got a little nick there. Just making sure to pull it because then you're using the knife too much. It's a sweat thing with the knife. It'll get a hole in it, but it, that's not a big hole. Then it's easy to skin after that. Just peels right off. Feet are easy, you don't need, you don't have to do any cutting at the feet. Your first muskrat you guys skin is probably not going to be your best muskrat. Hide, but the second one and the third one are both great hides. this guys this is just to prove you don't need a knife I mean sometimes giving it just a tiny little nick just to pop the feet out obviously that I'm trying to have to talk talk you guys through 
the process is kind of slowing me down a bit. Um, but it's all about education for um, trappers, other fellow trappers out there. And I'm going to eat, I eat the muskrat meat, so none of it goes to waste. The guts and stuff we can use for bait or feed to eagles. Mink, all the stuff. Winter times are really hard for um, eagles, especially guys, because um, it's low on. It doesn't have any salmon, so trappers actually help them. Oops, oops, eye there. Right there. Get that eye out. Eye out. The faces don't really matter if you nick them, guys. It doesn't really matter because, um, I don't know. It's just for, like, if you're selling the hides, um, it just doesn't really, it just doesn't matter. Because the, peop the people that make at the tanning areas, the people that buy your hides from you, just... They don't use the heads of the muskrats and stuff. Whatever you guys are trapping. This is an only way, this way is only used for skinning muskrats, guys. Don't use this for, like, raccoon. Obviously, we don't have any raccoon because we live in Alaska, but... At least I haven't seen any raccoon. They live down lower 48 and stuff. <laughs> and, um, yeah. This is just an only way to skin muskrats, guys. I just don't use it for anything else to skin, guys. It'll ruin your hide if you try to skin it like I skin muskrats. I mean, you guys can do it at whatever way you want to skin them, but, I mean, it's an easy way to skin a muskrat, guys, and that's a nice hide right there. Eat the back legs, or use them for bait, I don't care what you guys do with them. Good to eat, um, same as beaver and stuff, you can eat beaver, otter, I've eaten otter, it's just fine stuff, um, but yeah, guys, that's basically how you, um, skin a muskrat. Hey guys, it's Wilderness Boy here again. Um, I hope you like this video. Make sure to subscribe. That helps me out when you guys do that. Um, make sure to check out my other videos. Link in the description below. So yeah guys, I hope you have a good time trapping this year. See you down the line.